Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about UiPath Assistant, a personal digital assistant. What is UiPath Assistant? UiPath Assistant is a personal digital assistant for every employee. UiPath Assistant is the place where individual can easily access, manage and run automations with just a couple of clicks. It is especially designed for attended automations. As a client of the robot, it can send commands to start or stop jobs and change the settings based on the user inputs. UiPath Assistant makes automation accessible and easy to use for all. This interface also gives you option to connect the robot to orchestrator. So whenever you deploy a process, whenever you publish a package to orchestrator and deploy that, so you can see those processes, those automations in UiPath Assistant and you can directly run that jobs and start and stop that jobs from UiPath Assistant. There are a few more automations also available for personals. You can say as a personal automations, which you can directly run from UiPath Assistant, which helps you in day-to-day -day work, like sending an email, setting up a reminder, doing a small small things like that you can also even create these small automations and store to your personal workspace and you can run it from uipath assistant we'll learn all these things later let's start here we have some logos whenever we use uipath assistant so in tray in your computer tray i can show you here so this is the tray so whenever you see that, so we get this type of like logos. These are the colors we have like green color, which means your connection is established. You have successfully connect, connected your UiPath assistant with the orchestrator. When we get this, you know, this light blue like this, it shows that or like gray color, something like that. So it shows that this is not connected. So whenever like first time you will open that, so you will get this color of this logo, right? Which shows that it's not connected. And after, you know, a few seconds, it will be automatically connected and then you will get green color there. If we get red color, this logo red color, it means there is some error with that UiPath assistant or with the, uh, you know, connection. When we get some under notification, then we get this yellow color. Now we have some different different logos for UiPath Assistant. So we get in taskbar. So you can see this is the taskbar where you can see this, you know, PowerPoint and this, you know, Microsoft Edge and this folder like this. So first, whenever we open UiPath Assistant, so we get this one, this this color, the purple color, right? Which shows that this is a simple assistant. When we run our job, when we run the automation, we get this, this color, this logo, which shows that your automation is running. Now, if you see the third one, this logo we get when we run our automation in PIP mode. PIP, what is PIP? The full form of PIP is picture in picture. You will also learn about picture in picture in detail in upcoming videos. We'll cover each and everything in detail for UiPath Assistant. Let me show you how to open UiPath Assistant and how to connect your UiPath Assistant with Orchestrator. If you are not able to connect it, I will help you here. And once you will install UiPath Studio or like a Studio X, you will get that UiPath Assistant installed with that. Sometimes we get UiPath Assistant in the tray here itself. But if you have not set uh, settings which uh, starts UiPath Assistant automatically whenever you start your windows. There is one setting available in UiPath Assistant. I will, I will show you also. That will help you to uh, start automatically. Uh, which will uh, start UiPath Assistant automatically when you start your windows let me show you so 
Here also you can see on the desktop I have UiPath Assistant. If you are not getting here on the desktop, you can search here UiPath Assistant. This one you can see. This UiPath Assistant, basically the name is Assistant. So this is Assistant for you. This is the Assistant for every employee who is using this one, who is creating automation, who is running automations. So this is the assistant. So click on this. Now here you can see we are getting this black color, this gray color, you know, which shows that currently it's not connected. Now if you see, now we are getting green color, which shows that it's connected. You can also see this logo here, which shows that tenant learning, it means the tenant name is learning, this is connected. Okay. And status is connected you can see here there are three tabs home where you can run and manage your automations so from here you can run this jobs and you stop the jobs here we have list of automations this is the recent one which recently i have executed Th these are the automations that i can see here which i have published within this learning learning tenant so once you'll publish a new project, you will not get here, but you have to deploy that one, right? Then you will get here. Here we have a UiPath products. In the home tab, we have three things like recent automations, list of automations and UiPath products. If anything like you're getting, you will see here like documents, a task using task capture. So once you'll click on that, you will, you can install task capture. Let me, you know, just enlarge this. So if we'll do it like this, or you can click it from here also. You know expand that and collapse that you can see I can do it like this now if you see here we have option let me see here we have a favorites so what is this favorites so favorites you can add your favorite automations so whatever automation that you think that these are the favorite automation or this is the automations which you want to run every day right so you can directly take it drag and drop here Right. Instead of finding automations from here, you can directly click on this. You can find it here and you can run it from here. So you can make the automations favorite. Now, let's say here you are not getting any process. Why you are not getting? Because you have not connected your UiPath Assistant with Orchestrator. Let me, you know, disconnect that sign out we are getting this message that is offline it's not connected now click on sign in which will directly it will try to open this browser here you'll see and try to launch this it will try to connect you can see here directly is connected and it's trying to you know redirect to this specific ui path orchestrator with that tenant right if you are getting any issue here then you will not able to connect here it will ask you to enter some you know uh, that machine key click on preferences click on this click on this orchestrator settings here i am using connection type as a service url service url this is my orchestrator url so this is the cloud ui path website this is the organization name so whenever you create a ui path orchestra account you need to pass an organization name and then a tenant so this is the tenant and this is the orchestrator so this is the complete url for ui path orchestrator and then we'll click on sign in and then it may ask for machine key and all these things so the details so you need to enter there and then it will be able to log in with that if you are facing any issue while connecting you can go through my previous videos you know i have created a video for these things where you can easily you know fix your issues if still you are facing some issue while connecting then you can comment in my video now let me show you one by one here let me close that so now we have connected here and you can see here so from here you can start and stop the job here this is ready projects you can start 
here we are you know we getting a different logo awaiting install so we'll click on that it will install into your system and then after that you will able to run this job run this automation so why we are getting this awaiting install because we have recently published a new new version of this package so currently i'm getting 1.0.2 the version early it was 1.0.1 .1. so once you'll install that will get same as this like it will be something like r because it starts from rpa so it will be r the logo name second thing is we have reminders so from here we can add a reminders and you can set the reminder which will allow you to set the reminder like on this time i want to run this automation so it will remind you it will give you a reminder on that specific time a specific day to run that job here we have a marketplace in the marketplace we are getting multiples available automations which you can install in your personal workspace in your my workspace area and then you can run that job so this is a like day to day to day automations you can see here uh, in the upcoming videos i will talk about this in details so these are the menus tab that we are getting one for home run run and manage second reminders third marketplace now here you can see there is a one logo if you click on this let me go on home if you click on this so this is a robot this is your personal assistant and for this robot you can give a name whatever name let's say we give a name to our pet right so you can also give that name a specific name that you want to call to this robot i have given here ui path rpa this is my robot name now click on save so this is save now here we have preferences click on preferences i can talk about here here we have a general where you can change the themes of this assistant we have auto which will be like combination of light and dark here we have only light here we have dark so you can change instantly this theme will be applied we can zoom in zoom out you can see here we have a language so based on your language you can select and you can see these things here we have automation list and system so in the automation list if you want to see the automations by folder so you can click on group by folder and i have selected here group by folder so based on the folder i can see all my automations so currently i have only one tenant that is learning and i have one folder that is learning folder so all this process has been deployed to this learning folder that's why i'm getting everything here so if you want to group by this so you can see here so in windows start menu so it can show you in the start menu also second we have automatically start assistant with the windows so it can you can start so as i as i told you earlier in the starting video that you can start your assistant with windows startup so whenever you select that and whenever you will you will start your window automatically it will you know show you here in the tray otherwise it will not start if, if, if this is off here we have keyboard shortcuts so you can set the shortcuts here so let's say i am putting here alt r which means it will resume the process or pause the automations go to orchestrator settings here we can see the types and the status what we have selected here we have a uh, logging labels we have launch pad this is currently enabled and we are getting task capture that is document task if you'll disable this so this launch pad will be disabled you can see this is now disabled if you want that you can see now in the tools we have all the automations if you want you can it says that migrate your automation to your personal workspace here we have help where you can you know find the external links like read the documents of this ui path assistant and other documents also you can provide the feedback here we have a quick assistant tool which will help you to understand you know menu here we have how to run automation it will it will, it will help you to understand how to run that automation how to set a reminder here we have a start diagnostic tool 
here you can see the version the policy uh, you know policy name and then ui persistent version so and the windows this is collapse and expand so if you click on that so it will collapse that if you click on expand so it will expand this one here this is minimize to taskbar so once you click on this it will minimize here if you click on this this will not close basically this logo is close close icon but this will not close here this will once you click on that it will move the assistant to this tray here if you click here you will get here and directly we open from here double click or right click so ui path assistant you can also directly access this preferences orchestra settings move app to current display help refresh policy and quit if you want to quit this directly you can click on quit so let me quit that i hope you like this video if so please press the like button and please press the subscribe button thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you